All my ducks are swimming all over the pond right now. Everybody has their job, nine to five, and getting drained. They settle for second best, scared to risk what the future might bring. What the future might be. Hello. Happy Friday. It is the start of another work week. I worked yesterday, but that vlog you'll be seeing probably like, honestly, probably like a month from now. So you can look forward to it. But I do work, you know, the rest of my regular work week. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. As we know, it is all at my regular facility now since I have stopped doing extra help at the other one. But hi, I'm Anna. I'm a social worker. If you do happen to be new to the channel, if this is your first video, and I currently work with incarcerated youth in an incarcerated setting. Yesterday, I did a whole intake assessment, except I didn't get a chance to actually like, put it in. Like I typed it up. I just like didn't submit it essentially so I'll be doing that today and then I believe there's another assessment that I'll need to like start and finish today two counseling sessions planned one counseling session note that I need to put in from yesterday two notes from that actually I've stopped writing my to-dos down and I really need to start writing my to-dos down at work again so I can like show back up and have all of my to-dos Got my waffles, obviously. This shirt is from that thrift store that I went to a couple vlogs ago. I'm really feeling it. I feel like this is a fun shirt, especially for a Friday. I'll catch up with you after work, though. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope I have a wonderful day, to be honest. <laughs> I'll see you later. I hold my bed, waiting for someone to knock at my door. I got off late today. It is about 5.15 now, and usually I get home about an hour ago, but it was just like... I don't know, like paperwork, I guess, just kind of like backloaded the day instead of being able to get it done early in the day. I also left in the middle of the day to go pick up food because it was one of my coworkers' last days. So needed to do a little, a little celebrate, a little sprinkle of celebrate and had some chicken tenders and a root beer and it was really good. It is Friday and I keep forgetting that I work this upcoming weekend as if like that's not the regular. Like I, at this point, the last weekend that I didn't work was in the beginning of January. So it very much should be regular at this point, but I keep being like, oh yeah, and go into work tomorrow on Saturday. I'll definitely have to take time tomorrow to get all my ducks in a row because all my ducks are swimming all over the pond right now. Tonight, the plan was to make dinner and then go work out, but since it's later, I might just go work out and then struggle meal for dinner. We'll kind of see. Doing well though, overall good. It just feels weird getting home late because I feel like my whole night is thrown off. about to head in for the day and remember the goal of the day is to wrap up like all my loose ends get the ducks in a row but since I stayed late and such and I think I even stayed late maybe a couple of days earlier in the week I don't have to be here for a full five hours today so I'm gonna have to do some math when I get in there check how many hours I've done this week to see how many more I have left well Zach and I really want to do something fun this weekend I feel like as the weather warms up and the days get sunnier it feels less fun to have like the strict routine of like oh going to work staying at home afterwards going to bed waking up going to work so i thought it'd be kind of fun to go on like a hike or a walk but it really poured rain yesterday and so maybe tomorrow will be better for a hike or a walk just to give stuff time to dry but i'm really trying to put energy towards those hours that are outside of this place <laughs>
feeling very proud that Zach and I were able to have a fun day yesterday. It was like after I got home from work, we probably were out for five, maybe six hours. Maybe not that long. <laughs> I really have no idea. But we went to Stone Mountain Park, which is like outside of Atlanta. It's like probably 30 miles outside of Atlanta. So relatively close. And before that's where we've like walked up the big rock and like watched the sunrise that type of stuff but this time we just did one of the trails that's like down flat it's not like up on the little boulder mountain and it was very pretty but then also it's like fun to be in the fresh air you know hearing the sounds of nature wind and it was pretty warm yesterday but like the good kind where it was like high 60s with strong sun so not hot but you're bask like you're baking a little bit and that was very good and then after that we went and walked around like actual I don't know if it was like Stone Mountain downtown town stone mountain isn't really like a big town at all or at least like it's spread out so it's not like consolidated into a downtown so we just went like up and down a street basically and that was the walk but there were like cute little shops and stores on that street and after that still want to get some more walking in weren't quite ready to be done and so we went to the belt line like from starting from crog street market like in inman park area in atlanta and we walked the belt line from crog street all the way up to pont city market and that's where we ended up getting dinner we went to Viavana and Zach got pho, which he loves. And I've gotten it there before too, and it's really good. But this time I got the Viavana sandwich. I think it was like on me. Also very good. Did a little bit of shopping. Only bought stuff at Lululemon. But also that's because we had to like walk all the way back to our car at the end. So didn't want to be carrying a whole lot. But just fun to hang out. Fun to go around. I'm actually wearing a shirt that we got yesterday, today to work. It's just cold outside. That's why have my sweatshirt on i'm not gonna wear this into jail <laughs> i get that it looks like one of those off days um no today is a work day i'm on my way to work i just i look frumpy but yeah very fun day really love that fun to be out and about young and stress-free today in jail i am definitely going to be printing off and passing out word searches i felt so bad yesterday because when i was doing rounds a kid asked for word searches and i was like yeah of course and then i totally like it's totally slipped my mind which doesn't usually happen but i was like totally forgot until i was walking out and i happened to be walking past the kid before i got like to the door that i leave out of well the door that i leave out of to get to the non-secure area anymore it's a whole thing with jail and he was like am i getting word searches today and i was like I will make sure to get them to you tomorrow and I felt so bad I felt so bad so I'll be doing that today I might have to do an assessment today I'm really not sure but I did a whole lot yesterday which I think then will leave less for me to do today like I'll be set up in a good position today hopefully I always say that and then I end up being busy <laughs> just open not to be busy today but I'll probably be there the regular like eight to one hours and then got a whole lot of like Sunday reset type things to do like laundry vacuum that type of deal but just wanted to say hi happy Sunday We've been sleeping with the windows open the past like two or three nights and it has been absolutely wonderful like it's been a great temperature for it i think it's getting down to maybe like the 50s at night which is definitely colder like that's the temperature that it is in your house but it hasn't been getting down to like 50 you know within too and so it's just been like hearing the nighttime noises getting some fresh air because i always think fresh air is healing of some sort and imagine getting it while you're sleeping it has been so beautiful and then this morning it's like waking up there was this beautiful sunrise i could barely see it out the window but i could see it a little bit there was this beautiful sunrise and hearing the birds chirp while i was waking up like that is a state of absolute bliss so I understand that it's not feasible like every night, especially if you are in northern states that it is not spring yet. Okay, that's something that's so crazy to me because whenever like flowers have started blooming here, it has been started getting like warm during the days, like 70s, multiple times a week. And then I see pictures of people in full blizzards up north. How embarrassing for you guys really to not be in spring with me. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding, it'll come for you. And then you'll see me like here melting in summer and you'll be like, haha, and it's fine, you can do that. But it is crazy how different time spring comes for different areas i know that weather and seasons um is not a new <laughs> concept but just been thinking about it today <clears throat> today at work i'm gonna try to front load on counseling sessions i mentioned it in the reset video but i have a couple trips coming up and i want to be able to get the right amount of counseling sessions in with all of my clients with not being at work for those trips I do plan on vlogging both of those trips as well. They'll be fun in their own unique ways. I always think travel vlogs are just a fun way to like break up regular flow of content. I love seeing other people. So if that's something you get excited for, get excited for travel vlogs. Probably coming like towards the end of the month is when they'll actually be posted and probably like going into April as well.
yeah, but I'm heading to jail today. It's like my Friday, it's the last day of my work week. But the next two days, it's not that they won't be restful, it's like each day has one to two big things. And so even though those things won't take up like the whole hours or anything, I feel like I feel apprehensive going into my two days off. It's okay, we'll catch up after work. Home from work, so time to get dinner going. Tonight is going to be, see I planned for it to be my second chicken recipe, but now that one doesn't look as good. Oh well, it's planned to be lemon thyme roasted chicken and leeks over mashed butternut squash, which it feels like way too nice and warm of a day for now. Fingers crossed that it'll still be good. Whenever I make dinner, I always get the ingredients all out, a little like mise en place. Get the ingredients all out, and then I usually just turn on like a YouTube video or a good podcast or an audiobook that I'm listening to while I cook, which is how it becomes that like fun little mindfulness, doing a task, making good food activity. I'm going to start making an effort of vlogging more in the evenings because I think lots of times the videos end up being in my car. Good morning, I'm about to head into work. Here's what I'm gonna do today. Good morning, I'm about to head into work. Here's what I'm gonna do today. But it is Monday afternoon, which is like my Friday afternoon because I don't head into work Tuesday, Wednesday. So that is wonderful. But I'm gonna make this food and then I have an arms workout that I'm going to do today. I was just really feeling arms. It wasn't like in the schedule. I just feel like it's been a second since I've done upper body and it wants to be worked out. So the reason that this is a big deal, there might be like five of you who remember that around May last year before I went on my Eastern Europe trip, I had to like go search out the suitcase that was being shipped to me from the post office. It was this whole big debacle. And then I unboxed that suitcase and that's what I took with me on the Eastern Europe trip. That actually wasn't my luggage though. It was my mom was getting new luggage and she had it shipped to me so that I could use it before then going home so I could take it back to her. But the only suitcase that like is a carry-on that I have actually had that's mine in my lifetime has been like a little purple carry-on with a ballerina on it that also says my full name on it. And I still have it up there, but I, you know, it might be time to grow up a little bit. And so I got the base luggage set the carry-on, and then this is the mini convertible weekender bag. It really was a, I seen it on TikTok, I seen some people having it and they were beautiful and looked good. And it definitely was a splurge, but with that, I'm also very excited for it, especially for the upcoming trips. Somehow between last night and now, there is so much more pollen even than there had been. I had thought that we had already really started the pollening and <laughs> The sidewalks are all the like sickly, ugly yellow green color. The black top is all tinged with that yellow green too. It's wild, but I'm on my way to my fifth laser hair appointment, which the exciting part is that once I'm done with it, then I'm halfway. And I think pretty soon they start getting scheduled out for longer spans of time. I don't know that for sure. It's been a second though since I've vlogged when going, but I'm getting my armpits in Brazilian done with laser hair. I started in October and I did all of my pain mitigation type things again today in being like super hydrated. I have not had coffee yet. That was good timing for that yawn. <laughs> and I took ibuprofen about, about an hour ago or so. So fingers crossed that it is not torture. <laughs> my third one has been the worst so far, which I talked about last time that I vlogged. One was nothing, two was nothing, third one, it was something. <laughs> and then four was better than three. So who knows what five is gonna be.
it wasn't good but it was better than three still <laughs> which just goes to show you know exactly how bad three was you can't put on any products or like lotions or anything before getting the appointment that's why i was like having it early in the day because then just put on my deodorant afterwards don't get too stinky beforehand and now i'm all clear until april Today's library holds include Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert, which is the same person who wrote the like Get a Life Chloe Brown type series, which I've never read before, but I'm pretty sure that this is her first YA, and I've just been hearing a lot of people talk about it, so that's why I placed that one on hold. This one is Steeped in Secrets, and I got it because Books and Lala does like a buzzword-a-thon where it's like every month of the year there's a different word prompt to just read a book in and this one was secret or like secretive secrets type thing and so I just searched in my like want to read little list what has secrets and this was one of it and I think it's gonna be like the ultimate cozy mystery type deal so I'm I'm curious I like the cover it seems like a book that would be in a movie or like a book that would be in a book if that makes any sense like it's a prop book and then I got volume four of Heartstopper, which is much chunkier of a volume than any of the other ones have been. The other ones have been like hour long, less than hour long endeavors. And this one is thick and heavy, but it's a graphic novel. I've been in the habit of after laser appointments going to half price books or just like getting like a little reward and headed into today's appointment. I was like, oh, I don't need anything. I don't need a reward. But after the appointment, I am feeling like mm, maybe. And I still have Starbucks gift card money. And so I'm going to stop by Starbucks, get a little coffee, because I still haven't had any coffee. And I'm going to lose functioning coming up soon. And then I think I'll stop by like Marshalls or something. There's a few items that have been on my to get list, especially with the prepping for upcoming travel. Number one of which is sunglasses, because I don't know where any sunglasses have gone. But I find that I'm like driving down the road and I'm like, which is not good for me. And then also since I'm going to like beachy bright locations, I need to have sunglasses. Thank you for joining this weekly vlog. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram right here so that you can go follow because by the time that this is posted, I will have started some of the little traveling journeys, fun trips in March. It will obviously be more up to date and current on Instagram than it will be on the YouTube of vlogs. will definitely be coming for both of those too. As always, thank you so much for watching. Keep me in your thoughts and prayers as the pollen gets worse and worse in Georgia and I'll see you next time.